Hello again world. Please see and read the disclaimer in the video and on the description. Um, and no, you can't sue me or take legal actions against me for the contents of my videos since you're watching at your own discretion. So continue with the comments on woes and height difference and relationships pretty much more so on the relationships between taller women and shorter men. So I'm 5'10 and my guy is 3 or 4 inches shorter. Honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I don't even think about height. I wear heels and he loves it. I think a lot of it depends on the guy's attitude as well. Whether he's comfortable enough to, to date a taller girl. I say go for it. No one's perfect. I have to comment on this one. My husband is almost 4 inches shorter than me. When I first started dating him, it really bothered me. But once I fell in love with him, I did not care. You can't pick the physical attributes of who you truly fall in love with and in the end that sort of thing doesn't matter. My husband is plenty handsome and manly but more important than any of that he is wonderful loving sweet awesome husband. Who cares if we look weird to other people? Height doesn't much matter to me. In fact I'd be more apt to go for a guy of average build and height over a bigger taller guy. I never understood the whole concept of if a guy is bigger makes me look smaller scenario. I've dated men of varying heights and I have felt the same throughout all of them. My boyfriend is about 6 inches taller than me which is perfect, however I would not discriminate against height. My grandma is 5'7 and my grandpa is, it was 5'2 and they were married happily for 50 years. I would however discriminate if the guy is too skinny because then I would feel fat, laughing lol. I am 3 inches taller than my fiance standing flat on the ground. I too am a towering giant in heels which is awesome because I'm 5'3 and tower over practically nothing. I don't lean, I stand up straight, he thinks it hurts when I wear heels. I think I wouldn't feel attracted to a guy who was shorter than me. I know that sounds bad but that is honest. I think it would make me feel unfeminine or something. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is part of the same article or if this is a different set of comments. I saw Halloween last weekend and they had a mess and I had a massive crush on the dude playing Michael. Said dude is 6'8, I'm 5'3. There should be a 6 feet 5 inch sign next to me that says, must be this tall to ride. Now, I don't know if that's the pun in your window that uh, she's trying to play there. But I guess for those who didn't catch that, let me repeat that one again. There should be a 6 foot 5 inch sign next to me that says, Must be this tall to ride. And if you don't get it, uh, then you don't deserve uh, it to be explained to you as someone says. All these gnats around here flying around me, what the hell? I totally do not have the confidence to date a shorter man than me at 5'10". I already feel like an ogre and being with a shorter dude just compounds this. I agree with the stuff about a man being stronger and heavier making up for it though. I usually date guys that are 6 inch plus, well 6 feet plus. But on the skinny side, my current boyfriend though is only about an inch taller than me which he totally makes up for with his muscular beefcakey hotness. I love it when he throws me over his shoulder and insert excerpt from Trashy Daniel Steele novel here. I don't even know how many minutes I was in for that one. <laughs> well, we'll go with probably a few more minutes. Well, as my grandmother once famously told my mother, who was uh, at the time the tallest kid in her elementary school, they are all the same height when you lay them down. <laughs> I completely understand your insecurity, but I will tell you that it is liberating if you are able to overcome it. I'm 5'10 and my fiance is 5'4. He is a quarter Sicilian. And any weirdness that came from that difference was dealt with pretty quickly. But just because it worked out for us does not mean it's right for everyone. I always cringe when reading profiles of celebrities like Natalie Portman when they describe her as being so tiny and delicate that she makes you want to fold her up and protect her. It's infuriating because if you're tall you feel like you don't deserve to feel delicate or protected ever 
and if you're short, you're a fragile wisp that will be blown away in a strong wind. And as I age, my chest will sag and my posture will stoop. Ah, Tom, the great equalizer. I get the analogy. It's just not completely congruous, you know. I've heard the height for guys is like boobs, boobs for girls, and I sort of agree with it, actually. It's not just an effective argument to compare our conversation about our own height and our corresponding dating experience to guys talking about boobs. That said, I wouldn't grasp anyone's ass for boob size quotas or any other shallow requirement as long as they're not trying to enforce them on anyone. A certain amount of shallowness is part of being human. I'm just being a stickler for parallel comparison. Sorry I didn't express that. The analogy makes perfect sense and the other user was uh, correct. That being said that I don't think a dude's ass should be grasped for saying he only likes X trade in a lady. Who cares? People can't help what they're attracted to, be it taller dudes or curvier ladies. If you don't suit that person's taste, move on to the next person is my motto. Haha, ha, my boyfriend loves it too. We're pretty much the same height, but he really loves it when I wear heels and towel over him. I once asked him if he feels weird about it, and he was like, uh, why would I feel insecure about having a tall blonde girlfriend? I used to be one of those short bitches who hugged all the tall guys. Dating my first shorty, 5'5", five five, was weird at first, after dating six fivers. But then now the husband-to-be is 5'10", which is just right. Damn, I'm getting all Goldilocks on this shit. She mentions that the sex part is way less awkward. I don't know if this is everywhere in the country, but I find in New York City tall men only want to date short women. Leaving us tall girls with the 5'6 or 5'10 guys, it's creepy. What gifts with that? My mom is 4 inches taller than my dad. I am no great tall thing, but I've dated men equal in heighter, shorter. For sure, my dad kind of showed me it's so much more about personality. Plus, he threatened to disown me if I ever turned down a guy for being shorter. I like that. You know, I had a similar instance where I asked my, my niece those, those questions of, would you date a shorter guy? Of course, my taller one who's six feet something already goes, no, it just feels weird and awkward. And then the other one who's like roughly my height still goes, well, I don't know, I'm not in that situation her cop-out answer. And I go, you know what? If I ever find out that, I will disown you too. You are no longer my niece. The other one's now my favorite niece. I don't know. Of course I love all my nieces. Can't really disown them for something superficial as that. Can I? Can I? Alright, I think I can probably finish up one more video on this before doing the last video which is, as I mentioned in the first one, the Ask Men uh, section. And like I said, that's going to have a lot of raw, biased, unbiased points of views from both sides. Um, like I said, there was a shitload of comments. I'm still filtering out the ones that I feel really defines shows the gravity the magnitude of things but even then I want to still cut it down because like I said I don't want to make this as long as my X out series which was hell around 15 16 vids so um, but with that I'll see you guys next time